Welcome, this is Dr. Amanda Rockinson ZAPQ, and in this tutorial, we are going to look at interpreting the descriptive statistics in SPSS output and look at how to report it in a research report. Here we are looking at the output for a one-way MANOVA. So once we ran the one-way MANOVA, this is, what we, this is what SPSS gives us. The first table in the output is the between subject factors table. That shows the different categories of the independent variable and the number of cases in each group, noted by n. So we can see that we had 33 participants in our online group and 43 in our traditional group. Remember that one of our assumptions in the one-way MANOVA is adequate sample size. We can use the data here to justify an adequate sample size. Also, most research reports require that you report the total sample as well as the number of participants or cases within each group. As we move down here, we come to the descriptive statistics table. This table displays the descriptive statistics, the mean, the standard deviation, and again, the number of cases for both dependent variables disaggregated by each group of the independent variable as well as the overall. So here you can see we have overall 76 participants and then it tells us how many in each group. When writing a results section, we at minimum need to report the mean, and the standard de deviation disaggregated by each group of the independent variable. As I noted, we also need to report the number of cases overall, which would be 76, and then the number within each group, 33 and 43. This is really at minimum what's, what's required for most scholarly publications and graduate assignments. However, we may also need or want to report a few other statistics, such as the standard error of the mean or confidence intervals. These statistics are available in the estimates table toward the end of our output in the estimates marginal means section. So we're going to scroll down. Keep scrolling, there's our estimated marginal means section, and there's our estimate table where we can find, first of all, the standard error of difference between the groups or the standard error of the mean. And then we also see here the lower bound limit of the 95% interval of the, for the difference between the groups, as well as the upper bound limit of the 95% confidence interval for the difference between our groups. Now that we understand where to find the descriptive statistics in our SPSS output, let's take a look at how descriptive data can be written up for a report. And we're going to look at using uh, or writing a report in APA format or APA style, as that's often used in social sciences and education. So I'm going to open a Word document here. And as you can see, I've already copy and pasted the SPSS descriptives table here so that we can use it to create a table. I usually like to display uh, descriptive information in a table so it's easy for the readers to digest. But it can also be written up as a narrative. So if you want to write it as a narrative, that's fine too. Most style guides suggest that you either write it in narrative form or use table. You don't necessarily do both. One of the things that you can see here is here's my SPSS table here, and then here is an APA formatted table. You notice the difference? That's because SPSS output is hardly ever in any an APA format or any style format. So we always need to take the information from the table and put it in whatever style format we're using. As you can see, it's basically the same information. So here in the online group, I, you, I have reported the mean, the M, for, uh, for learning community as well as connectedness, and then the standard deviations for those, and then the traditional group. Because remember, we need to report the means and standard de deviation for each dependent variable disaggregated by the independent variable. As we're, so I think this is pretty straightforward, but as we're looking at this table, I will make two notes about reporting statistics. First of all, note that 
the lowercase n rather than the uppercase n that's used by SPSS. So here they have uppercase m. Um, here I use lowercase n. Lowercase n denotes that this is not the entire sample population, rather this is part of the sample population. However, here you'll note that I use a uppercase n to denote the entire sample population. Some statistics books even say you should use lowercase n here as it's not as this number is not indicative of the entire population. Also note that in APA at least that these uh, these are the abbreviations for your mean and for your standard deviation. So there's a list in the APA manual as well as other style guides on how to abbreviate the the different types of statistics. Also note that these are italicized, which is required by APA. And then finally, I will um, make one more note. I said I was going to make two notes. This is the second note. Note that here I I reported two decimal points. Most style guides, and specifically APA, suggest that you either report two or three decimal points, whichever is clear. It just needs to be consistent. So this concludes how to interpret and report descriptive statistics for a one-way MANOVA.